assembled in the presence of God to unite Ryan and Christina in marriage. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Mr. and Mrs. Christina and Ryan Schultz, you are a testament to true love. From beginning your relationship at only 17 years old and navigating it through long distance, you have defied the odds and proved to everybody that love is not only a feeling, but also a choice. I'm just really happy that Ryan was able to find his perfect match eight years ago when he met me. I'm just kidding. I'm really happy you guys found each other. I love you guys so much. I wish you guys nothing the best. Here's to you. I wish you both nothing but a lifetime of love and happiness. Make yourselves proud and be unstoppable. Cheers. Oh, if you trip, get up again. so pretty. been there for you and by your side supporting you as you made every, your journey into the woman you are today. There is another look that you have inherited and not many people recognize it. It is rare and typically only seen in the men of the Granberry family. It is the twinkle that you have in your eyes and I see it in you when you look at Ryan and it tells me your love will last forever. So we are all here tonight to celebrate your love for each other and to toast that is never ending. Christina, where has time gone? Five years ago today, I asked you to be my girlfriend, and today we get to stand here and become husband and wife. For three years, we had the same engineering class and no interaction except for me throwing paper airplanes at you. After a summer of you traveling to most of my baseball tournaments and us being inseparable, you gave me the opportunity to love you with all my heart. While most people probably thought we were crazy to start dating right before you were leaving for Baylor, I knew every sacrifice I was going to make. <laughs> I knew every sacrifice I was going to have to make was going to be worth it. While four years of long distance was not easy, it taught me how to take advantage of our time together and to cherish every moment. We were just kids when we fell in love, but over the years we built our lives together on a strong foundation of faith, laughter, adventure, respect, and trust. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. You have truly made me the luckiest girl in the world. You're the smartest and most genuine man that I know. I love your compassion for others, your personality, your smile that lights up your eyes, and even your indecisiveness. My lawfully wedded wife. I, Christina, take you, Ryan, be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. Death to his part. God has given you to me, and, and I, I consecrate, consecrate to him the love, the love in my, my heart, heart for you. For you. One night in high school, before Ryan's time, we went to a Thursday night concert in which Christina forgot about the essay that she had due in about five hours. So when we returned home, Christina and the multiple drinks that she consumed sat down and both began typing away. A life without love is a painless, safe, predictable, and happy life. <laughs> Later, Ryan proved Christina wrong. The day they met, I came home to find Christina and some of our friends in our backyard. This wasn't surprising, given that Christina had her own housekeep, 
But what was surprising was seeing a young man in the house who was personable, smart, kind, and looked at Christina as if she was the only one in the room. Six years later, he looks at her the same way. It was still being you and me. Now what we've all been waiting for, you may now kiss your breath.